How's it going everyone, it's Jermaine here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do this zoom in transition all inside Premiere Pro. Let's get into the video. So as you can see, I've got both clips in my timeline. Now in order for this effect to work, you're gonna need two clips. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the first clip and I'm gonna come into my effects, effects panel and type in transform. Now the transform effect that we're using is within the distort folder in the effects panel. So I'm going to drag this transform effect into the effects control panel, making sure that my first clip is highlighted. I'm going to do the exact same for the second clip. So I'm going to drag it in to my effects control panel. You can either drag it into the effects control panel or you can drag it on to the clip that you want to have the effect on. So I'm gonna come back into my first clip, I'm gonna highlight it, I'm gonna go right to the end of my first clip and I'm gonna go back about four frames. So one, two, three, four. All I'm doing is I'm pressing the left arrow button on my keyboard to go back four frames. So, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set two keyframes by highlighting the toggle animation or the stopwatch button next to scale. Now you need to use the scale that is within the transform effect. Do not use the scale that is under motion. So do not use this scale, use the scale that is within the transform effect. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the end of my first clip and I'm gonna set another keyframe. So say we're gonna go in about, I don't know, sorry, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm just gonna increase the scale and I'll automatically set a keyframe by itself. That's fine by me. Let me zoom in here and just drag this to the end. Here we go. I'm gonna highlight both keyframes, right click and select Auto Bezier. It just makes the zoom in effect more natural and less robotic. Then I'm going to uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle and I'm gonna set the shutter angle to 360. That's the max it can go. So what this shutter angle does is it adds the blur effect. So as you can see, we now have this, but I'm not finished there. I'm gonna do the exact same to the second clip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a keyframe under scale at the beginning of the second clip, and I'm gonna go across four frames, one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna set the keyframe, I'm gonna set the scale to 130. I'm gonna highlight both keyframes. Let me zoom in here, highlight both keyframes, right click select auto bezier i'm going to uncheck this use composition shutter angle and i'm going to set this shutter angle to 360 the absolute max and now as you can see we have the zoom in blur transition effect and to sell the effect even more i'm going to add a whoosh sound effect so let me just move this here and now we have the zoom in transition. Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Jermaine Grant. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below for any other tutorials you would like to see. And I will see you again next week. Thank you very much. Take care. Goodbye. If I take it down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just want to hear me with a quickie. Let me feel